he laid down his life voluntarily for you and for me. He came from heaven, lived a sinless life, and then laid his life down so that you and I could have eternal life with him. This is the place of the oil press. And we've learned on this trip that the pressings, the first press is the purest. The first press is holy unto the Lord. The first press is the virgin press. The first press is the one that is so precious. And he is the first fruits of many brethren. His life poured out, his life pressed out for you and for me is the first pressing from God and received as a sacrifice that was acceptable to God. The ransom was paid and now the rest of us are free to follow if we put our trust in Him because that first price was paid, the only price was paid by Yeshua Himself. Now the olive tree itself is an incredible story. You know, you saw the ancient ones across the way there. Do you see that when they grow older they get kind of hollow on the inside and the shoots come up from below and wrap themselves around and support the tree. The olive tree is a picture of Israel. The shoots, they're called notzrim in the plural. It's where we get the word netzer. It means the shoot, netzer, Nazareth, Nazarene. You are the notzrim. You are the shoots that have grown up around the old olive tree of Israel to wrap yourselves around the old olive tree and become a blessing that helps to hold up the old tree in preparation for the storms that are coming. The notzrim, it's also the word used for watchmen. So not only are the shoots the Christians, those that are growing up in love with Israel and in love with the things of God, but also you are the watchman on the wall for the sake of Israel and for the sake of the believers around the world. So as the notzrim, Many years ago, if you were walking in downtown Jerusalem, you would hear the Jewish people say, ah, the Notzrim are here, the Christians are here. But now the tune is changing. And now we're starting to hear, ah, the Notzrim are here. Those that love us are here. Those that have come to bless are here. Those that know to stand with us are here. And so here you are in the place where the price was paid as the Notzrim supporting the old tree by the way, the greatest fruit that you can get from an olive tree is when you graft in a wild olive into the natural olive. Do you remember Paul's teaching that we are the natural tree, the branches, and you are the wild olives? Well, the way that you get the best fruit from an olive is to make the mark of a cross and graft in the wild olive. And when the wild olive is grafted in to the old tree, the best fruit ever comes, and that's who you are, and that's what we become together. And what God is doing in this time is bringing us back to the price that was paid, the blood that was shed, and allowing us to participate with Him as we look for His soon coming. Amen. As our group gathered for prayer, there was little question that after 2,000 years, you could still sense the Lord's presence in this quiet little grove of olive trees. Just knowing that he suffered the way he suffered and even his closest people with him fell asleep in the process of that. Hey, the agony of that is like, oh, you know. So it's, it's a, this is a very peaceful place, but it's only peaceful because he came here and made it peaceful. And it's so awesome to be here where Jesus was, where he agonized and knew what was coming and yet he went on ahead and died on the cross for us.